Justin Pritchard, and if we've never met, I've been telling stories about cars and driving from a vehicle testing standpoint from right here in Sudbury, Ontario for the past 15 years. Now, 2020 was a heck of a year on the road. I tested 38 different vehicles, drove nearly 70,000 kilometers to do it, and in the process of capturing that all on camera to create these videos to share with you, I generated nearly 5,000 gigabytes worth of photography, video, and voiceover. And in this video, I'm going back through 2020 to highlight some of the most memorable moments and share them with you. And it all starts with a little orange roadster. I rang in the year with this BMW Z4 M40i, a muscle-bound convertible with a straight-six turbo engine, rear-wheel drive, and a trick rear differential that teamed up with BMW's latest electronic traction assists and drive mode settings to prove something I've been saying for years. If you're storing a car like this for the winter, you're missing half the fun. This is one of my most memorable drives of the year because it reinforces how beautiful a sports car can be to drive in the snow. And with its great color and lines, my tester was a joy to photograph in winter conditions. Here's an all-wheel drive hybrid, the S60 Polestar engineered from Volvo. This is the highest performing Volvo there is right now and its electric rear axle gives you on-demand torque for lots of traction and fun in the snow. As an all-wheel drive fan, I'm always excited to try new systems, and this hybrid performance all-wheel drive system with electrically driven rear wheels was a joy in action. Ditto the new Subaru Legacy GT. This is one of my favorite drives from last year in conditions like this. Legacy GT has a big car drive, a smooth ride, a smooth powertrain, and a boatload of winter driving swagger. This machine left grin after grin on my face for its ability to browse even rough snow-covered surfaces and back roads with power and comfort to spare. And that torquey flat four turbo worked with the symmetrical all-wheel drive and blizzax for some serious off-the-line chomp that never got old. If you like a roomy sedan with a bit of power and do a lot of winter driving in remote areas with bad roads, I would tell you this is probably what you're after. The electrics next. I got into reviewing these very late in my career because of my locale and the infrastructure nearby, but with improvements to charging access and EV range, it's now a possibility in a lot of cars, like this, the Kia Soul EV. It's quick, cheerful, goes the better part of 400 clicks on a charge, and has a torque curve like a GTI. And you can fly right on past the gas station and then charge up at home overnight, and I like that a lot. Here's another electric car from Germany, the Taycan Turbo from Porsche. It's the most remarkable car I've ever driven, a fully electric take on the Porsche experience with 670 noiseless electric horsepower and gut punch torque. Combined with stunning driving dynamics and cruising comfort, this machine is an absolute experience. In one of my very favorite moments of 2020, I had to launch this car away from camera guy James to get a sporty shot. In 15 years and hundreds of cars, neither I nor him had ever seen something vacate the premises this quickly. We had to do the shot twice because he swore over the first take, but I didn't mind. It was a fun day shooting this Mercedes CLA 250 because we were being followed down the highway by a nasty thunderstorm in the process. That meant getting to work the smooth turbo forward to outrun the incoming thunderclouds, and actually we caught some lightning on camera too, which is always sort of special. Oh nice! Did you see that? Speaking of cameras, this new Nissan Sentra kept mine very busy. In fact, I fell in love with how this machine looked, and here's the first affordable car to ever make me burn through an entire camera battery on one shoot. My lenses just couldn't get enough of those lines or that mean little mug. 
Hyundai Sonata Ultimate. Next, to its striking looks and cabin, this car adds some features I'd never seen before, including remote-controlled parking and camera-based rearview mirror displays that are super slick. If you're a tech fiend after a relatively affordable car, send your attention this way. I found two great new SUVs this year too. First, the Ford Expedition. This became my dog Ghost's favorite SUV of all time, thanks to the heaps of room and the comfy highway drive, and we did a lot of exploring around Northern Ontario together. The King Ranch interior dials up the swankiness, and my biggest impression from this machine is probably how nicely set up it is for relaxing and unwinding and exploring the world around you. but its Cadillac Escalade is my favorite highway cruising experience this year, and that's all because of how it feels and sounds going 110 down a smooth and empty road. It's like a whisper quiet hovercraft, and the interior, and especially the graphics, are outstanding. The big memory in here was thinking that Cadillac had designed the high-tech sci-fi dashboard I imagined cars would have one day when I was 10. The rail beds, next. Inspired to do more exploring, I ventured deeper into the wilderness than ever via a network of abandoned rail beds, which make a great suspension test since they're covered in moguls. With Fox Shock suspension, it's the Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro and this mighty Kawasaki KRX1000 side-by-side -side as the most comfortable machines I drove here, thanks to the Trick suspension. Those are followed closely by the Colorado ZR2 and for the same reason a specialized suspension system from Canadian company Multimatic in this case. And all of these machines are built for high-speed browsing of rough terrain like this. And honorable mention to the Subaru Crosstrek for its comfortable ride on this challenging surface, and ditto the Jeep Grand Cherokee North Edition. Thanks for coming along on that drive down memory lane with me from Sudbury, Ontario. My name is Justin Pritchard for Driving.ca, and if you'd like to follow along on some more adventures, make sure you click on like, subscribe, and notify down below so you never miss anything new. And until next time, take care, stay safe, and all the best for 2021.